Um, all right, so let's call to order the regularly scheduled um, Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Um, do I have to open the meeting? Yeah. Do we vote to do that? Mm, no. no. Okay, so we're going to, um, the first order of business to, is to approve the agenda as drafted and amended. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, second order of business is to approve the minutes of November 14th, 2019. Um, I read them and I didn't see any issue. I read um, them as well. They looked okay to me. Yeah. The only thing I saw was that I used the phrase carte blanche, which I don't. That's funny. I just was like I said that, but I didn't have any issues with any of it in there. Anybody else? No. Okay. So does someone want to make a motion to approve? I'll make a motion for the minutes as written. Second? Okay. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So the um, we'll move on to old business, 76-11, Sachem's Path, Nantucket, LLC. Um, this is to uh, take a vote to release the remaining funds being held in escrow uh, subsequent to the payment of all outstanding invoices. Um, Let's see, uh, we released um, 1,000, oh sorry, based on Ed Pesci's recommendations at the November 14th meeting, um, we can release the remaining, we can release $1,011.17 from the 53G account. The balance, this is, this is the balance remaining after we paid Mr. Pesci's final invoice of $1,086. Um, does anyone have any comments, questions, outstanding issues that we might want to address before we release that escrow? No. Okay. Does someone want to make a motion then to, or does anyone in the audience have anything to say about this one? No. Um, do we want to? Um, oh. Does anyone make a motion to do that? Okay. okay. All those in favor of uh, releasing the escrow balance? Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. So the next one is 18-19, uh, Peter L. O'Brien and Natalia V. O'Brien, 36 Beach Road, represented by Cohen. This one is requested to be continued until January 19th. I mean, sorry, January 9th. Sorry, thank you. Um, one, two, so would someone like to make the motion to continue this one to the regular schedule of January 9th, 2020 meeting? I'll make that motion. So I'll second. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You need to also make a motion to accept the extension to the motion for the action. That I'm so will someone make the motion to um, extend the action deadline to, what was it, sorry, February? 14, 2020. I'll make that motion also. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Our next application in old business is 29-19, Timothy M. Stevens and Leah Stevens, 45 Starcraft Road, uh, representing Ms. Linda Williams. And my, do you have the, our packet says yeah there was no no material submitted so that would be helpful for those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the standard conditions and the uh, 
school permits and we don't have a problem with any of those conditions. We wanted to know where the uh, rain belt was and where the pool exactly was in relation to the house. And as you can see, it's tight up against the house, right up underneath, the, almost underneath the second floor deck and down about 10 feet from the elevation of the road behind the house and the pool equipment's behind the shed addition. And we can't disturb about 20 or 30 feet between us and the pond anyway. And in the previous packet, you had a picture that I took from the other side of the pond and to the back, and you couldn't see any of the yard. All you could see is the second floor deck. So I think it's, uh, in this particular case, it's pretty invisible. And then you were concerned about lighting. There is no landscape lighting. Whatever lighting is actually in the pool, uh, which is required on the coast. So I think... Um, and that's what the three little arrows are? That's the lighting? Yeah, inside the pool, facing backwards. Yeah. Kind of almost under the deck. So if you have any more questions, I think we addressed all the concerns from the last time. And we're okay with the conditions, but that you stay to put on pools and again. Okay. Are, we, are we satisfied with this as the last good point? I mean, and there's aerials in the packet from before that show you clearly where the yeah. no disturbance was. I'm not saying this it shouldn't be, but it's maybe there should be some labeling as to you know this is going to remain forever as is. Yeah, I would want something that we somebody can point at. Yeah, I would want if if you're representing that the only lighting, exterior lighting, is going to be the lights that are in the pool, mm -hmm. then I would want that part of the decision and no design. I, I wrote it by hand on there on, on the on the building itself. It says three pool lights. Yeah, no, not that. No landscape. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. but there would be lighting on the house because We're it's required by code, right? Yeah, that's the only thing on the house. Yeah, that's but yeah. there is exterior lighting on the house. I think there's probably a light up on the second yeah. floor. Yeah, like so everybody else out there. And we can't cut any closer than what's already been cut for lawn, which is what he showed for the edges. I mean, because it's within 100 feet and 50 feet of the pond. So can I just, can I just, like, so this landscape plan here, for example, that's on page, it's hard to read because it doubled over, but uh, I have page now, maybe in our packet. So this is a landscape plan, but it, the plan, there's a planting schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I see this is an example of something else. Uh, there's not much that we're changing from the existing uh, vegetation. Uh, so when you, when you, yeah, you yeah. visit the property, That's just a, uh, the natural vegetation just surrounding the property, which is clouded out in the drawing that I provided, and uh, anything that's on the pond side of that is cannot be disturbed. And, and that is the surveyor's plan that's layered over it. It might be hard to find, but there is a do not disturb line uh, labeled there on that survey plan. Right, so I understand that you guys are saying, and I hear you, that you keep saying you're not changing things, but by adding a pool, you're changing things. So, like, we may want more screening because there is a pool. Except the pool's not visible from anywhere. That's the point on this one. This is an odd one because the pool is underneath the house in the back, away from the road, and the road has a much higher elevation than the back of the property. It drops a good 8 to 10 feet down to where the pool is, and then the pool is behind all the vegetation from the pond you can't touch, which is why the you picture from the other side here. shows you, you can't see it, see it at all walk by, you can from see anywhere, not even in the pond, because we can't touch that part. So there's no extra screening to add because the house blocks it from the road, and the screening is blocked by mandatory uh, no disturb from the pond, and the neighbors can't see it because it's below the neighbors, in fact. It's a very odd location and it works out well in this case because it's got the house blocking it it's got that change in elevation blocking it. it's below the house and it's below all the vegetation so i don't know what more we can add I except just, what's there well, i just, just get i get i'm sorry just a little, i just i guess i would just i would have liked to say like we gave you some guidelines we there's other decisions that have been done in this area we said we wanted it to you know mirror those so that we could have co consistency the, you know. We looked at those requirements that, that Eleanor, hang on a second, Eleanor gave us the list mm -hmm. and everything is on there and no exterior lighting, which is a condition. We looked at all the conditions, which is what we were given yesterday, and we meet all the conditions. 
yesterday? No, you, you were yeah, we've had them, but we meet all the conditions, and we are okay with putting the conditions in the decision that we were given. I know, but I can't. This is like I can't. I, I think what would be helpful. I mean, and Jeff just said he walked out there. The pool is going to be visible, but believe me, I don't think that that's an issue. Uh, personally, I don't think that's an issue. I mean, pools are visible. They have, they have to have fencing. They're visible. I mean, I, I'm not. So, but I think what well, he said as you walk up towards the north, you can sort of see it diagonally. You can see it. Will you have a fence around this, or will it have an automatic? No, no fence. But oh, I, I, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> Sorry. But I think what it would be helpful for from Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth. Oh my God, Susan's perspective is to have more of a landscape plan that is noted, you know, and drafted. Yeah, I mean, Th that's all we're looking for. It's something that is. Linda, you're just not listening. You're, you're not. You, we keep saying the same thing. Yeah, and I don't know what to add. So come, so come in here. Well, just do a do a do, survey do a, plan. Do a, that's a plan. Just, like I, we, this is just um, this isn't this is just markered in. Like do. Oh, this new plan. Those are, those are, you can see these it. new plantings? Yeah. yeah, so just, so do a planting schedule. If this is staying forever while, yeah. just label it. I mean, it's, it's pretty just simple. Just make the plan that we can put in the file yeah. other than... Because this is, you know, that, that, I don't, this speak... So whatever the new trees are, just so say what they're going to be. I don't understand what's wrong with this. This is, this is the cloud, I just colored it in, the cloud out survey plan. So you can see it. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it says right here, you know, it says here. Which we can't read because it's cut off. And you can cut to the 25 feet, right? Mm -hmm. I thought you could have more than 20. Feet. Well, it's an average of 37 well, and a half. 37. I'm just. I'm not saying you're intending to, but we just want more detail. If, if the plan is is, is it's done, we want more clear this, so the next person can look at it and understand it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think anybody has a problem. Cool. No. We, I, I, don't, I haven't heard anyone have a problem with them either. And I agree with Lisa, the visibility factor doesn't, I mean, that's great if it's not visible, but it doesn't, that doesn't sway it. I mean, it's a special permit, so just that they, we just need more detail. Or, more, or, or the detail, sorry, the detail presented in a yeah, more the HCC, HCC is fine, but they said they couldn't see it. So they, they approved it. Anything. They approved the it. Yeah, I, I think it would just be helpful if maybe you label what are the four trees that are shown on the left side of that building? Existing trees? No. No, no they're proposed. There, there's some. There's a little planting row there, and honestly, I haven't uh, worked that out with the owner just yet. Okay. Uh, being that it's not it's something that's viewable, um, I, I, I didn't think it was necessary to label the plant. I could tell you if it helps to get the today what the plants are um, but um, and we can even mark it on the plan if you like um, but again I didn't think it's necessary due to the fact that it, it, this got approved through HDC on consent due to lack of visibility and so I didn't really think that this was going to be a big problem from a visibility standpoint and it's, um, or screen. it's not a problem and again the visibility isn't we're not hung up on the visibility that that is it HDC uh, criteria? What we've said and what we've continued to say is that in this area, you have to get a special permit for a pool. The other pools that we have approved have had specific plans attached, exhibits, and requirements about lighting, about screening, and we want to maintain a continuity. So we're asking you, I, I, I agree with Ed, I haven't heard one person say we're not in favor of the pool or there's an issue with the pool. We just want to be able to have a consistent decision. And, and the HDC, what they rule on and decide on and how they view it, it they, they approved it based on what they need. We're asking you to give us this for what we need. Now, the so, only thing I have the response to that is that the other ones, I know the other ones, they were rather contentious. There's no opposition here, number one, number two. The neighbors are fine because it's where it is. But wait, the other two were much more visible. We're going to potentially have a bigger impact. We're all on level ground, not wackadoodle like this lot where it drops so precipitously and goes down behind the house. Those are on the side of the house. Those are visible from another road. Linda, That's not I, the have case a, I have a, I have a Linda, question. Wait, wait, well, I Linda. Can't... 
It doesn't matter. We talked about this last time. We said that those first ones were contentious, be, not because people didn't were like, like nobody was against the pool, the board, I don't, the neighbors maybe. It was contentious because it was the first few times and we developed conditions and requirements. And as we discussed the last meeting, or I don't know if this is the third one, you're back or the second one, that made the neighborhood more comfortable with the process. It was, it wasn't, so again, you're fighting yourself right now. Can I just I make a suggestion? Can I just make it's a it's suggestion? Not, you. Can't you just get Bracken to add some notes to his plan that just says existing vegetation line not to be disturbed? Uh, you know, four new, just call them whatever the hell you want to call them for now. I mean, I, I, right. I, I mean, use the surveyor. Right. You're, you're, you're they just want something that's a little yourself. cleaner in the file. All right. It's very simple. He survey plan for you right there, but he colored it so you can actually get a better I mean, that's basically line. what I did. I took the survey plan. I'm just color. some colors. I'm layered. I don't want to color. I mean, but it's just so I, I understand what you're saying. No color. And, well, well we can't, this says pool equipment is like colored in. Like, the, the, we can't use this. It needs to be a, a full a circle, like a real oh. survey. Not a survey as much as a landscape plan. plan. So, but but I was, gonna, I was trying to simplify it that you could use the survey and get him to do it if you yeah. don't have no, the that's, that's CAD it's, capabilities. I mean, enough, just, um, so, you're, you're basically the hand drawn stuff is, is not adequate, and, and then you also you need a. Um, uh, a landscape plan detailing the plants that are proposed, regardless if you can see them or not. Right. Yeah, yeah, because we don't care. Seeing it doesn't matter. That's not we don't. That's HTC. Yeah. That's not us. And also, like like this one, you know, like Ed said, it's things are cut off. Like. So, yeah, I just try to you know, get it a larger scale. So you guys can well, I think I think you know one of the nice things things to think about is that this gets recorded and it's it's in the decision at a smaller scale, so it needs to be legible at a small scale. You know, because like the ones that we have in our packets that are examples are are small, but they're still legible, mm -hmm. and I think that's what we're trying to get to. This is nothing that we haven't asked other applicants for, mm -hmm. and we asked for it last time. Really um, so, on one, so just to be clear, it, it says it on that plan, but it's, uh, Ed is correct in the fact that it was cut off mm -hmm. because I tried to get it at a larger scale for mm -hmm. viewability. Yeah, I don't think it was intentional. But, but yeah, on the HDC approved plan, which was uh, on the, the original packet, it shows what it says is proposed of relocating, oh, sorry, no, proposed limit of clearing yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. And that's the line I drew in. And that's on this plan here. Survey plan, that's already that's at least that's suggested we should do. So everything is in the file, it's just that it may not be in so Would you like to look at the HDC plan? That, that basically what I layered over, this is... Well, I mean, I need a fruit of women in the plan to be put into the file. Right, so let's be asked. So here is proposed to not clear. And what all I see is just this one. Imposed on that, layered over the actual food design. And gave a little color by hand, okay. thinking that it's healthy. But look, you've got storage shed right here, you've got right. the pool equipment. Like the pool equipment needs to show, and, and we. So okay, it so just needs to be, this needs to be cleaned up in more detail yeah. with the planting, with the pool equipment, and. This isn't good in there, right? Oh, the lighting. Right? Because right? don't we have a lighting schedule? I don't know if we get a lighting plan for people that know the lighting. No, it says it has to uh, meet the dark sky. Yeah, whatever the regulations are. Mm -hmm. That's why they're only in the pool. Mm -hmm. And you're good with all the other uh, conditions? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> this is so an example. Yeah, we just need a better piece of like, Even this one here, like on 98, it doesn't even have a planting schedule, but it just has like. It just has all labels of like what the plants are. Because we really weren't adding them. Yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. you, you you say you're really not, Linda, but you uh, what? Why? Because we can't add any more or touch what's right. back well, there. So, 
Okay. And here's a question. If I just take okay. this out of the design. No, because we want to see the landscape. Well, what if we don't plant there? That's what I'm saying. I mean, this is that's this fine. is irrelevant. That'd be fine. If, this is in my opinion, to, if, if, that, if, that, if that's what the plan is. But that's not what the plan okay. shows us. The plan shows us. So this. if you had a plan today that showed that, no planting, these are plants going to be. Well, that's not a big deal. Let's like, make it clear. Right. So the next person who, I mean, I got a call this morning about a past case. Um, and I wanted to refer to the to the file so that I can remember it years hence. And so everything has to be clear. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Like this one, it just look. It shows the tree. It just has a little label that says what it is. It's not a big deal. We'll take all that off of there. Then. Does that, is everybody? I mean, again, is that that more the the sure. I know, but you want a new plan. Yeah. So we, are we comfortable yeah. moving is, forward is, with the? Exhibit A. Through staff? Yeah. I think I am. Or do you want to come back next month? Yeah, I mean, it's 30. That's what I was going to ask. I'm not going to add. It's, 30, it's a 30 day week. Um, there's word of more pool articles pool coming, coming, coming. coming. And everybody's trying to get the pools in now. Um, and basically, we're, we're all okay with it. I can certainly um, revise this so it adds what you requested to the file. And I would request, if it's okay, Madam Chair, that we, we get this approved today, and then we can have, of course, through staff. So we, we don't have to go into next year. It would be attached to an exhibit to the decision yeah. that you would review and sign or not. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, okay with, with that. that. But I would like it to be, oh, go ahead. There you go. I was just going to say, I'd just like it to be very clean uh, no color use no hand i mean can you get the cad file and type in stuff so that it looks oh, like yeah. a yeah no, I, I thought by adding a, you, you well this all written in hand i mean yeah, i want to have I, I, I was under the impression that Visualize. adding color would help with the uh the playing. i mean no. jesse the, the the frustration i think that the board is uh voicing me is that we asked for this as well you could the applicant could have been could have submitted that material at the first hearing and probably would have got would have gotten approval and there are three other examples uh of what's been submitted before why not submit exactly the same material mm -hmm. instead we get this oh you can't see you can't do this and then we asked for it and it still didn't happen so we're frustrated well, we went off the list that we were getting and that was your list of conditions we're not, we're not we don't need to argue let's it anymore. Disagree. Let's just, disagree. yeah, let's, let's just continue. Is there anyone else in the audience who'd like to speak about this one? Great. Um, so, Any butters? No. No. So, um, so do we want to, um, do we want to let this go through staff when we get a plan? I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Now, to be through staff, I mean, we still have to sign. Yeah, I mean, so I'm going to say, or if, I, yeah. or Michael or if there's Jeremy, a, if the plan Jeremy. doesn't look like what it should look like, and you have these three other examples that give you what it should be like, I'm not going to sign. Right. That's understood. Okay. I, I, I clearly understand. Yeah. I'll get to back in today. Okay. So, um, yeah. Someone I think that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. Can you clarify think, the motion, please? Yes, yeah, the motion should include and will include, does include, I hope, Karen, speaking for you, all of the conditions previously imposed on other schools in this district. Right. Yep. And, and um, Jeremy, I'm sorry, Jeremy, I'm sorry, 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 I'm
shows that there are three parking spots allocated for each dwelling unit. Um, we have one for the single family dwelling, mm -hmm. so three for the single family dwelling, and then the total of six uh, for the proposed duplex. Um, so we have Mr. Blackwell for that. Uh, in addition, we also, uh, there was also a request to have um, the waivers actually spelled out um, that we are requesting from the zoning code. Uh, I, I submitted those. Um, those should be attached in your packet as well. I'm happy to go through those if, you, um, if you're so interested. Um, we've heard back from the NHA and the Housing in Tucket, and they have signed. They have signed the easement, so we have access once once the uh, NHA needs to have lots. Um, I think we're uh, members of Habitat for Humanity here before us. Um, if you have any questions, we're happy to answer them. Um, uh, enough of the information mm -hmm. that you should ask you. One thing that was done, uh, you asked for a 15 foot buffer on the, the south side. On the south side, this is Jerry Newman in the habitat. Um, that was added. Uh, there was two, there was a total of three parking spots, uh, two for the owners and one guest parking for each of the dwellings. Uh, we did get approval from the police department, fire department, uh, water, sewer, and planning board, uh, which was requested. The fire department asked us to add a um, fire hydrant, which you see uh, marked on the plan. Um, that'll be added at our expense. And uh, we did get, since there you wanted, we needed the um, easement from the Hazard uh, Nantucket, and that has uh, been done. I did meet the of boards of both Hazard Nantucket and Hazard Association and went through a very comprehensive. Um, Homeowners Association Agreement, which spells out uh, the homeowners are limited to two vehicles, trash removed on a weekly basis, uh, no trailers, hen tents, unregistered vehicles, no more than uh, one family, the family uh, living in the home, no business shall be done there. Uh, and then violations, you know, extensive uh, violations as habitat. We are the, uh, we are the lien holder. So uh, failure to pay or approve after 30 days, 18% uh, rate of interest, and uh, force was the home. So we're trying to make this a little stickier than others on the island. There's also a um, restriction on work hours and weekends. And our two abutters, both uh, the House of Association and the House of Tucket, we're happy to see the revised feature right now. So you guys will go to the HTC, correct? Yes. Okay. Because you have three. I know this is obviously the duplex, and then there's two single family. Yes. It looks it like. Is, well, there's, you know, there's one duplex. In yeah. The, the design is in the original pack, and there's also the single family home, which we're going to be using one of the HTC approved, so one of the last two homes we used in St. Chief's Town. Okay. <coughs> you just don't know which one yet. No, I guess it's, isn't it? No, no, no. Uh, the, the house type oh, the H, H or house, house type yeah, yeah. C. Or. But you're going to go to the HGC, so it 
Yes, we will. That's off of our plate anyway. Um, so I saw the fire hydrant and then the, did I read the, um, so they also are looking for no parking or like a fire lane? Yeah. There's a fire lane in front of the house on the left as you're, as you're looking from the top down. Mm -hmm. um, across the fire hydrant that's going to be marked with a uh, fire lane, no parking, and all along the side there will have a no parking fire lane as well, signed up. This side meaning the one the at the angle? Below the number seven Benjamin and number five, I think it is Benjamin. Yeah. Along by the right. shed's going to be moved. Mm -hmm. be, that would be no parking as Mark was so as a truck, mm -hmm. truck can turn. Okay. I have a question. What, what is our uh, somewhat, or what is, what is the uh, minimum green space that we've asked for in past four days? I mean, this to me seems like it was the green space. Well, they'll be green around the buildings, right? And then that whole other lot. Yeah, lot one. Which one's lot one? With well, the sheds, the garages. This one, yeah, that just has these two sheds, and then that's remaining all green. That's why I wondered what we, I, I can't remember as a percentage, um, if we have, have a number in mind. I don't know if there was a specific... By the way, lot one isn't totally green. It has two buildings on it. Um, no, but a lot of it is green. I mean, if you look at the percentage so of you that... You can say that a lawn is green. It's not green. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was a cost of subdivision done that... And the, it's, it's LUG2. It's basically the same thing that we talked about a few months ago in larger and smaller form. And we were certainly concerned about green space. In uh, Sir Well, so I, I guess from uh, on the waiver sheet, look to is four percent, and they're asking for six percent, sixteen percent, and thirteen percent. That's the ground cover, right? That's so green space. Is there a zoning bylaw of green space? That requires a waiver? I don't think so. This is commercial. <clears throat> yeah. This is under the, the, <clears throat> the laws of affordable housing. Mm -hmm. So there aren't any laws effectively other than health, safety, parking. <clears throat> it certainly was a high you know, it was a concern of ours on other forty days. Yes. And I think we were tying it to the notion that <clears throat> uh, it is for the health and safety of the residents. Yeah, I don't think so. Certainly, search like crossing it was. But that was, that I, was I feel like that was, that yeah, is. but I think that was also because it was the the type of ownership more so because there were these condo buildings being proposed and so the, the individuals living in those, if there wasn't a community green space, then there was no green space for them. Whereas this, I see it as a little bit different because it's the they have their own outside area um, and the duplex as well has its own outside area and then, so I, I totally I get what you're saying and it's true it was it was a big um, topic for us there but I, I think that had tied more for the for the condo ownership than it did the single family or the so this was bad that's green space maybe. yeah no no it does well, I, what, I know. I'm just saying for that one, it was more of a topic. But well, what about a, if you looked at the percentage of Sachem's Path Green Space with, with the center area, and this one lot one area, if that was maintained as green space? I guess the difference sure. is that lot one is is that accessible or for the purpose of the public or owners to use, or is that? held back you know what i mean I, I, guess, I guess i'm not entirely clear are we talking green spaces and like open space for a park or green space being no no disturb but leaving in its natural condition yeah. oh, no, i think it's green space i i would have thought arguably for usage but um you know again you're taking a large concentration of people putting in a small area and it's nice to have and i, I we've always done it before 
had some area that is dedicated to outdoor space. So what to, to each unit, not and not as a whole on the development. Madam Chair, yes. Just point out, I'm just glancing at the um, decisions that are in your packet. Mm -hmm. I haven't. Thoroughly checked all of them, but I'm on page 172 and correspondingly 170. There is, I just was scanning for open space, green space, and I landed on this. There may be other references to it in the decisions, but I see a 20 foot buffer zone that's reserved. This is a point of reference, I'm not sure how. Yeah, so right now we have a 15 foot 15 buffer zone. Foot buffer. And then you have the existing buffer at Sachem's, that Sachem's path, right? That mm -hmm. 25 feet. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ooh, what takes place in here? Yeah, I hate the I might be a picture. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, I think I'm. So tell me, just remind me, right. lot one, concept lot one. That one has the two sheds on it. That one has two sheds completely grounded. The whole area is completely wooded. Lot one is that the housing association wants to keep that as a lot. There are two small sheds at the beginning of it. The rest is all wooded. That bump, that's the separation between them and Sachem's. And they use, where they're basically on the line, they basically just use the walking or some access, there's been no vehicles going through, but they want to be able to go from Benjamin to their other properties along their property line on um, Raquata, mm -hmm. where they have other homes, and it's not a, now it's a walk. So they wanted to keep, originally, or one of our original plans, we have another home here. They said, we want to keep that so we can access our, our other Raquata properties, so we can answer that one. So the area. The entire area is wooded. Eleanor, when you were doing your search just a second ago on page 165, uh, one of the decisions says lots 5, 9, 11, and, 30, and a 30 foot strip along the westerly boundary, my account road, set of lot 4 will constitute green space buffer zone. I couldn't determine what, where lots 5, 9, and 11 were. Well, you've got some record plans on. Uh, Pages one, one eight, two. Yeah, nice. So, yep. But so was it five, eleven? Yeah, they're basically all on the road. Yeah. Oh, nine, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what pages in your packet, but the. the it's in one of the decisions and the references. Book 449, page 353. It'll show the. It'll show them right next to my account. Of I, I have to just say, I did enjoy reading one of the past decisions. It said something to the effect, I should find it, that placing the elderly in a position <laughs> to look out over the road and watch the traffic is a pretty along those lines. That was under Chairman Dill Lane's <laughs> reign. <laughs> it was. Subsequent decision it was stipulated at 17, which <coughs> no, no house is on 17, which is the lot in question. Mm -hmm. right. and that's why they're here. Right. Other than the fact that there's no access either, it's a 12 foot wide access. There's no frontage, no access. So I, I think it's hard to determine unless we have a table laying out, you know, what we before versus what's here. You know, I'm looking at page 113, just kind of visually sizing it up. And I see a lot of green space compared to uh, the joint. Well, this, this is part of Sage's path. 
that is very very all the space. Yeah, how do you count? Do you count? I don't, I don't think that's for recreation. <laughs> um, but you know, if you compare it to Sitchin's Path, and there were proffers there, but I, I don't think that's for recreational purposes. Yeah, it sounds like most of the green space was a buffer to, to um, provide screening. The requirements for, for green space. Whereas here, uh, luckily, or unluckily, since they have no frontage, the screening is taken care of for them. Do you want to talk about the frontage? Or lack of frontage? Mm. Or did we move past that last one? I don't think we moved past it. I don't think we all agree on it. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I thought we, yeah. Um, Excuse me. I, no, you can get back. I thought we asked the applicant to uh, for half a dozen approvals from local boards. Um, Which he's given us. And yeah. that's my recollection, what we requested. And, and more parking. Yes. Yeah, and the yeah. buffers. Which, which he agreed to less. Right, on. and the yeah. increased buffers. Right, I think if. if but I'm not so sure that was unanimous. Well, well I mean, the request didn't need to be. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, just saying. I'm didn't. saying. I, I was think, behind, though. If you're looking at me. Just, no, no, I'm not looking at you. I'm just <laughs> saying that those were the things that I that, I, that we had concerns with, or right. many of the board members had concerns with. Right, I think if if the fire department had come back with a different. Um, yeah. I think we weren't prepared to vote not knowing what the public safety board. issues right. were going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Because to me, that seems to be the biggest issue with not having frontage is just access. Yeah. So do we we know how the, what how this space is utilized here? Is this just kind of a yeah. area, or, or is this green space? Do you know? There's some pictures in here, right? Yeah, Fifteen feet buff, foot buffer you propose uh, to remain as is, or is that simply a setback? Is it planted buffer? Yeah. We're going to get the whole the entire area is wooded, so it went from five feet to fifteen feet to remain as is. Undisturbed, Undisturbed. buffer. Maybe, so the plan should be instead of saying proposed fifteen foot buffer, say um, I would say. Undisturbed. Yeah, just put the word undisturbed in there. Um, does, there, does the public have any other questions? Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in the public who'd like to speak about this one? Um, I feel like the applicant, you know, provided everything that we wanted. I'm happy that we heard back. Everyone we asked for feedback so. from um, the fire department's original concerns were addressed. Um, well, it wasn't. I would say that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, not that it was tempted. It wasn't. You can't, you can't turn the truck on. But he said what? he. But he said he was okay with that. Yeah. Given yeah. if there was the fire lane and no parking. Mm -hmm. Um, we did a, um, a, a, a some type of uh, schematic. We did a 
Let me show this. That's the three-point turn that was done by automated systems. Yeah. Some yeah. 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 Yeah.
divided into three lots. Lot one is to remain with no dwell, the restriction of no dwelling units. Lot two and three are going to be allowed one dwelling unit each. The plan, the duplex, total of three, whatever. The duplex, I meant like structure, sorry. So one single family dwelling, one duplex. And, and um, the plan is going to be uh, dated to show the undisturbed buffer and the no parking slash fire lane. And the shed's going to be moved off the property line, off lot two. Anything else? And should be not just right over the Oh, yeah, and the shed won't be in the setback. So the shed is moving? Mm -hmm. It's being yeah. taken away. Okay, it's being removed. No, I think it's being no, removed. No. It's on the plan there. It says relocating shed. Yeah. We're moving it to right where it says relocating shed. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's just over the lot line on lot two. It's, it, I didn't see that. Okay. It's over the lot line on lot 17, too. So it's just it's being moved to so it complies uh, mm -hmm. on lot number, number seven, Benjamin Drive. Got it. Okay. Just to be clear, it should comply with the set. Because it does not say that on the plan. It says relocate the set. Is that the intention? All right, so motion's been made and seconded. So, uh, voting members for this one are. Um, Susan, Ed, Lisa, Michael, and Karen. Okay, so all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, now I'm not going to sit on this. You can that one back to Oh, the representative isn't here, though. Oh, no, he is. Yeah, but it's not Steve. That's right. So this one. Okay, so do we want to talk about potential conflicts before we open it? Or? Yes. Okay, so. I'm not aware of any conflicts. Well, we, we're on the Masons. We have, a, have a, uh, just, just, just decide who's going to sit by the intensity of any perceived or, or what could be a perceived conflict. And we can all fill out and file those forms, too, just to. So. So, so I work with Robert Sarkeesian, mm -hmm. who's also now my partner. He is uh, got some title about the Masons. He's the Grand Master. Grand Master. And if if there, if I do have a conflict, that's it. He sits fifty feet from me at work. So I may I don't think I have a conflict. I didn't think I had a conflict when I read it, but when we started. When we were talking about it today, and Michael said he might have a conflict. I should disclose that my husband is a Mason. Well, do you either one of you think you can, can not be fair and impartial? I, no. I've never had a conversation with Robert about this, ever. So I have no preconceived ideas on how I'm going to vote. You know, having said that, I mean, I, if no one else has a conflict, if you feel conflicted, you don't have to sit. Well, I'm, all I'm saying is I will sit. Somebody, if, if, if there are other people who have larger conflicts, mm -hmm. right. whatever mine is, and right. I don't need to sit. And Jeff's not sitting because he's. Oh, um, Jeff, what? Well, he's working on the project, so he's out. I'm, have, I'm I think I can be impartial, but I don't want. I don't want to sit if it like would put forth like that there might be a conflict. I would say we have five other members. Yeah, I, I think the perception of a conflict yeah. Yeah. certainly exists. Right. 
All right. So you're in charge. So you're the vice chair, aren't you? Am I? I thought you so. were. I'm the treasurer. You are. So I'm waiting okay. for the two. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the two. It sounds like you want to run this, though. <laughs> no, I don't. I was just trying to move on. Um. Okay. Uh, so this is file number 31-19, the trustees of the Union Lodge Free and Accepted Masons, 30 Main Street, for the applicant. Good afternoon, I'm Jay Murray, what's going on with the applicant. Basically, what we're seeking is uh, permission to demolish and reconstruct uh, the rear portion of 30 Main Street. Um, and preserve the existing, uh, non-conforming pre-existing ground coverage overage and a uh, slight uh, encroachment of the setback that we did so in my house. Is it possible, I, I can't really tell from the site plan either. what is being demolished and rebuilt? It's the master's plan, it's the submission of demolished. Yeah. There, there's no... It's, there's, it's the ward on the back. It's the back which ward? Here. There's two wards, or three wards. Do you, have, yeah. Do you have a plan that shows this? Has the HCC approved that yet? Yeah. yeah. Then there would be plans that would... Yeah, there's an application in here that I assume, yes, it's signed. But it's, it's really unclear as to what's being removed and rebuilt. It'd just Very be unclear. helpful to know what is going on. Yeah, we need this application. The chimneys. Yeah, I mean, do you want to come up here, Jay, and yeah. I can just ask the question? It's it's just, Part of the back of well, I don't know what oh. it looks like though. This is like a porch area back here. Okay, so and this is also a little porch, but right. this is the brick piece of the building. Is this yes, this rectangle. whole okay. and this little piece here? This is all coming off and being rebuilt, including the wart. Yeah, and this chimney. Yep, the chimney's already gone. Oh, that's gone already. But they're waiting for the. Okay. And is that the only place that's going to be? It's the L here the L and this little bump square. here. Anything that's not the brick. Yeah. How, uh, how am I supposed to tell what's brick? I can't tell. The, I know. The brick is the rectangle. It's you not The clear. checkered line denotes the end of the brick. Checkered line. The dashed line? Yes. No. Well, yeah. Dash, checkered. checkered is, yeah, yeah. That's not checkered. But anyway, yes. The building is rectangular. It would, in the future, it would be really helpful to have pictures of the building and the yes, some visual, just because yes, this is... Color it. And then are you going to put a new foundation under the whole building or just this new section? My understanding is it's just it's accessing into the basement foundation that they'll be doing full structural work and trying to bring the building up to code. All right, so it's underground structural work. Accessed obviously from the inside of the building as opposed to the Correct, sides because they Main can't get to the sides. Or Union Street. The only way to access into the underside of the building is to the back. Is it fair to say that because of the scope of this project, there are decent plans that you're going to be working from? Yes, sir. Could we get Why some? Do we have them? <laughs> okay. I mean, I, th I think it would be really helpful to see what the intent of the work is and how you how you guys. Uh, you know, a construction methodology, which we we usually request for people that are working so close to the lot lines. 100%. You know, of exactly how they're going to be doing this work and how are they protecting the neighboring properties, things like that. Okay. It's usually a letter. And, and, and you know. then again, this isn't something new that we've asked for. I know it may be the first time you or your office has dealt with it, but I don't even think that's the case. When work is being done on the lot line or uh, within the setback, we just need to right. see how that work can be done and, and feel comfortable with the neighbors there for that. Right. I, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to speak to you guys, but I don't think anybody here would have an issue with taking it down and rebuilding no. it back to the way it was, but we just need to know how it's going to take place. Is that something that we can provide uh, no. staff or do you see it? I think in, in, in past applications we, we've seen it and discussed it. I mean that's how I feel. I don't know how yeah, I feel. Absolutely. Not only seen it, discussed it, and maybe changed something yeah. because we didn't think the first method um, was fair to the neighbors. Right. And we also talk about hours of uh, work, when work is uh, mm -hmm. cannot be done, things of like that, noise issues. 
I, I think that's one of the issues, but I was hoping we can go through staff since we're trying to get this done before summer. We want to have an open foundation. Yeah. I, and I feel for you, but why not? Why didn't you know? I mean, I don't mean to be a, a miserable human being, but why didn't you submit the information? Then we would be talking. We would be talking about it right now. We can't. We don't even. With the information submitted to us to date, we literally had to sit here and say, "What are you doing?" Because it's not clear. So I, I mean, I'm not inclined to do a true step. This is too big a project to do step. I think I, 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 I agree with you, unfortunately. I think it's it's too big a project and too tight a space to be working in to do it through staff. I mean, because again, uh, it's a big enough project. There has to, has to be plans. There have to be construction plans at this point. Well, there's a building permit application in here, so something was... That's for foundation only. But even that, I'd be curious about how they're going to excavate this. Right. And again, I don't think it's that any of us have, I, I, I for one, have no problem with right. project concept. Is there anybody else? No, I don't think any, I can't imagine. Can you get um, other drawings from Nathan? I mean, he went to the yeah, HGC. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're just trying not to lose the money. Since well, I don't know that that's, unfortunately, I just don't know how we're going to not lose a month. Well, you're going to lose more than a month. You're not here in, uh, on January 9th, correct? That's so, correct. And there's a good chance I'm not here on January 9th. So we do before the end of the meeting, so we can continue to the end of the meeting. Go around right now. Okay with me? Sure. I just have to leave. I have to be somewhere at four, so right. that's my only limitation. Can you the meeting, but the Lisa, she's the chair. Do you got anybody object to that? No. No. Okay. So we'll continue this to the end of the meeting. We need to vote on anything like that, uh, Eleanor. I, yeah, I think you need to. Okay. Vote that, to continue to be reopened. Okay. I'll make that motion. Thanks, Thank Jim. You. Thanks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. Where, I don't even know where this is. The sheep's pond. That thing came out. It wasn't anyway. This red part of the road. Oh, it's um, Malikashim. Uh, 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 no, not, not Malikashim. Uh, Sheep's Pond. Yeah, we need to go to um, okay. to Malikashim. So um, now we're going to move on to 3219 okay. Patrick S. Keating. 49 Red Farm Road. Are you with the Apparently, everybody's out of the building. Okay, so presenting is Linda Williams. Yep. I don't know. I didn't put this packet together. I was involved in the building, emergency building permit for it, so I don't know exactly what you have in your packet. I just um, was heavily involved in the beginning of this process. I see it. Um, this is your typical going over the edge, guys. Um, you can get to it by going over Long Pond Bridge. But it's roundabout, way around, going down and over the hill and down. It's actually out there by itself. It's surrounded by conservation and water. So it's not actually in the pot of the other houses. It's literally, you can see it from way far away and it's up there by itself. So when it moves back to zero, it's not going to be next to anything, not even a road. And there's a paper road to the right of it. And more than half the lot is now out in the water. I took Paul. Um, Murphy out there, so he could get a, a gander at what this, what's happening on the South Shore, because he couldn't figure out how to get to it either. So I took him out there last month, and um, he issued an emergency move. So it's on the edge and going. Is it up on Kirby now? I wasn't when I was out there last time. This permit speaks to doing. It's that's where it's going. I don't think we've moved it yet. No, it's just. It's but it's going to be picked up and moved over yeah. to where it's going to end up. Clearly, obviously, it's, it's been disconnected from everything already, so it's just um, sitting there waiting to go. So it certainly has soil shape and topography because once it was a much larger rectangular lot is now a triangular lot, and the soil is unstable, clearly. And so we got soil shape and topography because 
most of the lots in the water and over the cliff. So I know the board doesn't like to go back to zero, but in this case, there is nothing on the other side of it except open conservation well, land. The only way to get to it is on a, sort of a dirt it, easement off of Red Barn. It doesn't say zero. It says a five foot setback. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we'd like to go We're back not, as far as we can. It's just that they weren't sure the board was going to... Well, I think, so I mean, we would we would approve it per, per the plan that's been submitted, I would guess. That's yeah. fine for now. Just noticed it five. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine at five. And what is the side yard setback? Is that also five? It's not lo labeled. I think it's... Oh, it's a lot lines. Yeah, it's five on both sides. Yeah. Should we just make a memorial line? Because I know they want to move it now. And they have come? come. They, they're out of just out of my curiosity oh. of have they explored doing some type of land swap or anything? They yeah. No. no. Just, we're gonna get another five or six years out of it and then they won't go. And so to it's your a fairly sizable house on to, top of it. To your question, Ed, I mean, the building is within the CONCOM jurisdiction. It's not going to be anymore. So do they have to go to the CONCOM? We've had a discussion with CONCOM, and I believe that the engineer was going to the CONCOM and have getting a request for termination. Yeah, yeah. That was how it's done. A couple of months ago. Why wouldn't you have to go? It's just because you're already in. You no, know, no, no, you're already in it, then you're moving it outside. No. But you Further could probably on. still oh, have to go. Outside a 100 foot buffer, yeah. Yeah, but you're still you wor to. doing work within. Right, it's an ROD to move the house. Yeah. yeah. So, but that's a, so that's it's a short form. That's yeah, easy. it's not yeah, a, a that's, month month that's not an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any issues with this. I I mean, it seems like he doesn't have many options, so. No. There are no options. We wish we could. Maybe we'll work out something with one of the new budding conservation. Do they need any relief on the parking? No. No. Yeah, I mean, we've actually Marking allowed people to move within the road ladder backs to road. Yeah. So this seems. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the Conservation <coughs> Foundation would have been here. I think mm -hmm. if they had any. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then do the other two structures that are shown in the aerial, are, are they still there? I don't know what your aerial we gave you, but there's only one structure there. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And you can see where it's gravitating to the next page. This is 2018. Yeah. And he's only got one on there now. I have no idea what happened to the other. Yeah, it's a big 2018. You can see where it gravitates to the west as well. It's They're all giant. How that game is. Oh, yeah. This is where he is. Plan. This is Tell us when the pictures are actually taken. Oh, yeah, but it looks like on the plan that this one would definitely be because you're, you're going to the diagonal there. Yeah, they're probably not there. He's got a parking now. I'll have to have parking when it's gone. Well, it, it looks to me like the access to the parking place goes right through the house. Where you where you want to move that? Yes. Yeah. So he'll just move it to the left if you want. Well, there's no room to the left. <laughs> <laughs> but. If it was coming back straight, it'd be better, but it's coming back at a heavy angle. So well, why, can't the it, why can't the parking go to the other side of the building? What would be the they right can. side yeah. as you're looking at the plan? So the east side. Yeah. Or the Marcus will have to see it on there, eventually. Yeah, I mean, that's the only place it can go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because this is where, oh, that's the top of the coastal plan. Yeah. So yeah, that's right. So that's mm -hmm. been mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. No, washed away. No. No, they can second though. No, no, they can make it. They can make it. Did she make it? No, I'll make it. Make it. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, you can make it. Edward. I'll make a motion to grant the review. I want a second. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. All those in favor say aye. Second. Michael. Aye. 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 I think that's enough. Yeah, you know. It's crazy. You too. I wonder if he did an emergency at that point. He must have. No, I don't know. Do you want to come over here again? 
Well, so if you look at those, the, the dates on those photographs, well, I don't know. Trusty, that's a year old. Right. Right. That's that's the other one is just on the dates on them. They all have the same date now. I mean, when you look right. somewhere, yes. this takes over. Yes. They go. They want to know what they want to know. Yes. They're with their team. Yes. Yep. All, the, all the photographs. Good afternoon. For the applicant, Attorney John Rusher, representing uh, the Tree Pond Road Nominee mm -hmm. Trust. Uh, what we, what yeah, we have before you is a request yeah. to modify an existing mm -hmm. variance. Um, by way of background, mm -hmm. the locust contains a single family dwelling, a shed, and a secondary dwelling. Um, mm -hmm. Meets the intensive regulations of the R20 zoning district, having 21,000 square feet. Um, the single family dwelling in the shed are by the setbacks. However, the garage does not. The garage is approximately 12.9 feet from the front yard lot line, and this requires a 30 foot front yard setback. Um, the reason for this, and it's spelled out um, in the 1995 variance, effectively is that the lot was larger initially and actually was part, uh, had frontage on Hussey Farm Road. This garage existed in its present location. The lot then got subdivided in 1984. Um, the single family dwelling was constructed. For whatever reason, nobody caught that the garage was not sited properly or was a zoning violation. Um, as such, it would be non compliant. It's not a pre existing non conforming structure. It's not it's considered non compliant. Um, therefore, at the time in 95, it required variance relief. Um, as part of the relief in 95 to validate the siting of the garage, um, <coughs> excuse me, certain so conditions were uh, imposed upon the property, uh, specifically relating to the garage. Uh, more particularly, let me pull up the file very quickly. That the apartment there, that it was going, the garage was being converted to a secondary, secondary dwelling and set up the apartment shelter going to year round occupancy. And the one, the salient condition that's before us is that the footprint of the garage structure shall remain substantially unchanged and that any additions to allow for second floor access or dormer shall be made outside of the 30 foot setback area. Uh, the variance was, was modified two more times after that in 2003, 2016, as it related to year round occupancy and the, and the apartments. Um, however, the restriction relative to um, not adding anything within the 30 foot setback area. Uh, was still in full force in effect. So what we have before you is my clients uh, have applied to the HTC and um, received HTC approval to put what we call dormers um, on their on the other side of the uh, pardon me on the other side of the garage secondary dwelling. Um, these dormers were ultimately faced Pond Road, um, and as such, they are sited approximately twenty six point one feet from the front yard setback. Uh, the application was flagged by Marcus, um, and it was sort of un unwillingly, unwillingly, unknowingly went to the see without this restriction. They, they didn't realize that this, that this was um, this was going to hold them back, and so they are requesting a uh, modification to the existing variance to change it such that um, nothing there should be nothing outside of um, twenty six. Nothing shall be closer than 26.1 feet um, from the front of the lot line. And because it is a variance, I, to the extent necessary, I think we're also, we're also going to request variance relief to effectively add massing within the setback if the board sees, sees its way to approve this. <coughs> Again, the structure has been there since, gosh, I believe it was 1980 was when the garage was actually sited um, and, and constructed. And as uh, sort of the history shows, it has had modifications since relative to the use, and so my comments are asking if we can um, modify the existing variants so that the dormers can be as close as 26.1 feet from the front yard. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. No, no change to the barn being limited to uh, year round. That was really I don't think it was removed, it was altered so that you can only you can't rent it on a short term that's basis. Not, that's correct. That's 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 exactly right. Oh right. And that stays. Correct. Right. I mean, how is short term to apply? 
I, well, I think it, it's, it's, it's defined as long term. No, yeah, it's much more clearly defined that you can only run it at a, for periods of not less than 12 consecutive months. Who monitors that? I don't know. But that's, that's fine. I doubt it's uh, Ann Ballas, Bob Leichter, Bill Sherman. Well, maybe Linda Williams. Is she here? <laughs> she signed this. <clears throat> I guess Linda does the I kept on thinking I was going to see you. I am six <laughs> feet under. <laughs> yeah, just missed her. I, I beg your pardon. And Ballas is not. Oh, goodness. I have I don't think there's any opposition or any letters in the packet. I don't think there are any letters. Um. So what was, what was it they went to the HTC, they just didn't realize it? They didn't realize. Well, they didn't, they didn't realize that they were going to be flagged for this. But that's logical. I mean, I mean, it's really, the building is already over the setback. I know it's a vertical expansion with a setback, but it's the picture, it looks like there's tons of, lots of vegetation. Yeah, why wouldn't they go to the HTC first? Anyway? No, no, I, I just, I was wondering, they just didn't, they forgot about this condition and it just wasn't on their radar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Probably just not on the radar. I could see how that would happen. I mean, you could certainly make the dormers comply, but then they'd be, the windows would be half the height and. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't. Doesn't it's, do it's for, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, um, they're not sticking out. No. I, I, I would um, make a motion to grant the relief as request, or the, the um, modification. modification to the existing variance as requested. Because the work is not substantially more detrimental, detrimental to the neighborhood. Is that the standard for modifying a variance? Um, yeah. There's hardships in uh, topography. Yeah, I don't think the substantially judgmental of these special permits. Yeah, I think yeah. it's um, I think it would be oh. that. Uh, would this be the purpose of the harmony and tenth zone bylaw since it's a modification? Yeah, I would yeah, say that because I think the intent. I would say that's good. Mm -hmm. Um, the existing um, area. So Lisa, that's your motion? Yeah. Yes. You're modifying the existing variance. Mm -hmm. And leaving the remainder in full function. Yes. Okay. Existing variance as requested. Mm -hmm. And leaving the rest of it in effect. Okay. Um, does someone want to second that? I'll second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's unanimous. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. Me too. Me too. You can have a short meeting Christmas present. I know. Hopefully. They could have. They could have. Pretty awkward. Yeah. 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 Anecdotally, I think that under the new chairmanship, this room has been about 11 degrees chillier than it should be. Under the old regime, it was 12 degrees. So I would like to commend you for that. Thank you. And <laughs> the meaning of full higher. Going, going forward, <laughs> maybe we could get Eleanor to write a letter to uh, board of selectmen to see if they can turn the heat up one more degree. Problem after <laughs> seven years old. Uh, I think it's fun. Today's not Today bad. doesn't feel so bad. But. Oh, it's I mean, still, it's it's still it's chilly. My hands are cold. A couple minutes. We need a quarter of a So we have one more. One more, and then back to. Well, they're not back. back. There he is back. He's here. Jay's here. And and you know, 
you can say you're not staying, but we really, the meet, our, it's only 2.25. Oh, I understand that, but I mean, if they weren't back in time, it was an accommodation. Oh, yeah. They're here. I didn't, the, I didn't realize that. We have a room that. until, what's right. the room Understood. until? Four. 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 Is really only four now? Uh, it might be till five. I don't know. So, okay, let's. Yeah, so uh, something saying, nice like, I said for. You know, this isn't like a race to get out of here. We actually. Yeah. <laughs> so the next one is 3419 Daniel L. Lawson and Michael J. Janowski. Did I say it? I don't know. 26 mm -hmm. Appleton Road. Um, and Eleanor, you're going to be briefing us on this one? Some confusion with the attorneys? Oh, no, Brian, sorry. Sorry, well, Attorney Sweeney is here. I didn't realize that. Sorry, Brian, didn't see you. Well, I'm here um, not on behalf of the applicant. This is a uh, transaction in which Rhoda represents the seller. I represent the buyer. Um, she filed it, so um, I shouldn't comment or present it on her behalf, but uh, <coughs> she's a member of the public. Um, I'd ask that you approve it. If you have any questions on it, I'm familiar with the variance and <coughs> um, like Eleanor, <coughs> want to present it? I guess I could. So, uh, okay. at your leisure. Awesome. So, do do we need Eleanor to do any presenting about the background on this, or do you guys feel? Why isn't Rhoda here? She's off island. Hmm. Wait, uh, you have, do you have standing to? Present. So, I don't. Um, the deal is contingent upon this being approved. So, the board to file the application, and me representing the buyer, I think uh, there could be liability if I commented on this and it wasn't approved. So, so can we have Eleanor just run through it? Do you mind, Eleanor? No. So, I didn't go into the detail on staff report because speaks for itself if you had a chance to look at the packet. Uh, there were several decisions. They were <coughs> repeat decisions because people, the owner at the time didn't exercise the relief in a timely manner because there were <coughs> variances and it was a one year. I don't, I don't really know what happened, but they kept reissuing the same decision essentially. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, the zoning was changed from the original R20, which is why the relief was required. And at some point it was changed to RC2. I couldn't find when that occurred and then subsequently changed to R5, um, and that happened in 2012. I found that article, that's Article 41. Uh, all the prior decisions are in the um, packet, in some of the deeds as well. And there was one particular condition in the variance that was carried forward to do with no second dwellings and things that, so basically the relief is obsolete anyway, and the fact that it, they wouldn't necessarily need to remove it because the relief, the need for relief is obsolete now, but when there's a condition like that, it's better to clean it up, and it's been noticed on deeds, so the better thing to do is to remove, vacate completely, so deeds going forward will show that it no longer encumbers the locus. And it has been, it has been subdivided already, so. I'm sorry, that. And the lot has been subdivided again, pursuant to R5. But there's still this condition of no secondary dwelling, and that carries through even to the subdivided Right, lots. if it's in the decision, it's a condition that applies, even though it's not subdivided. <laughs> so now- We do have a couple of these. You might remember we had the one in Surfside not so long ago. That one had paper street involvement, but uh, the variants had been very similar. The people wanted to unmerge lots, basically, that were accidentally merged by virtue of common ownership. And the person who owns it now wants to be able to eventually build a second dwelling. He didn't need variance relief anymore. So he had us vacate that that was in the surface that was about sometime last year. So the subdivision as it stands now, if this condition were not on those lots, they would be able to have a secondary dwelling. Exactly. They wouldn't necessarily have to, it depends on who you talk to legally, if they need to remove a variance that's saying that, that the that's no rationale longer. for which is no longer valid. Yeah. There's a lot of different thoughts about that. But my opinion as a former title examiner is it's better to clean it up, and especially when you have a condition like that. Okay.
So is this the crap? So this plan, this October 29th plan, 2004, this is how it's subdivided now. Uh, lot, the, point me to the page. That's it's uh, 326, so it's lot 30, 31, and 32. They're each like about 5,000 square or almost 6,000 square feet. Yes, I think that's the most up to date. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's the or maybe uh, it might be actually page 329. All right. Is yeah. this the most recent one? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 329, that's the most recent one. 2005. All right, they moved the law line. OK, I see. Has the house been removed, the building? Did yes. Did you relocate it? Yeah. So there are three vacant lots right now? No, they're built, they're improved. Yeah, you look at the low, the 305, just what's there. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. And we're only really talking about okay. 6630, 26 Appleton, right? But if we remove the condition, if we rescind the variance, it's going to apply against all three, correct? Well, but this only this applicant is that. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, it would, it would apply to all three. Yeah. If you want to restrict it to just this, it would be a partial just for the slot. Well, that just seems like the, I, I feel like if we rescind it for one, it should, I don't want to do I would, I would, I would, I would, I would do that. I would agree. That would make like, two other people have to pay to come in for the it same thing. It yeah. makes sense to rescind it. And it, it's noticed at all correctly with the other two that are here. No, it's not. It's not noticed. That she, I mean, she submitted the application, but it's the variance applies to all of the lots. So. But I mean, they would have gotten. They would have gotten notice as the buyers. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 we don't necessarily have no. to rescind it for those, but it would then be in existence. They're rescinding it here, so they their title examiner someday would see that. Okay. It hasn't been properly noticed. It, it no, this is a rescission. No. This is a rescission. I think we're saying so it is not. It was received and is a rescission, so it is not noticed to the abutters prior. It will be sent. The decision will be sent out to the abutters. Okay. And it would be if you choose to rescind it in whole, but for all the the lots that now exist, they came out of the original lot, um, which I think makes sense. Then they will receive. The abutters will receive the decision. Right, because you'll have to do the abutters on the corner. The and it'll be suddenly. noticed against, marginally referenced against the previous decisions. Mm -hmm. So I guess I have a concern procedurally. In this case, it does um, have a positive effect on the other two property owners. We, here, we think, do we think it does? Do we have the ability to rescind and put in place restrictions on properties that they have aren't represented here? Yeah, but if they don't want to, in fact, we don't have the property owner here or the representation. Right. Is our reason? I know, you know which is usually like it's usually like we wouldn't go forward, would we? No. Like, yeah. Yeah. We may be able yeah. to approve it for all three if the other two want the approval. Yeah. <coughs> so if you'd rather just approve it for the existing lot thirty A, I think it is, on plan two thousand five, whatever that plan is on page one. Three seventy two I think it was do that if you feel that that's and the others can come back we that's fine it certainly makes sense if you want to get there they'll still be noticed <coughs> with the decision and I, I imagine the other two could be your decision or without without it coming z a a z a z a no no i can't receive the variance Oh, you can't yeah. even in this case. I can't do anything with variants. Uh, uh, no, they would have to come but before you. Good. But I understand your point completely. But when I think about it, it would be a the, the Surfside one, he was one of two lots that came out of the subdivision. He was the only one that we released it for. So I think I did should. hear from the other people when they got the decision, and they said they wanted to do the same thing, and they haven't come. They're probably going to. Mm -hmm. So I, I do now. That I think about it. I certainly see your point. Yeah, Jim, I wasn't thinking of it in that. I was just thinking really procedurally and like for the for the title if the, if the variance is on the whole yeah that's a weird part because the variance is sort of partially gone away right so it's a, so it's like a partial release 
relative to a future uh, now existing law that didn't exist. Yes. So. But the variance exists now in, in sort of partition anyway, right. like each separate lot. So it seems like we can do it separately. Mm -hmm. but you, yeah. um, so I would make a motion to grant the relief as requested. I'll second it. I just I want to make sure procedurally we this is okay to do this without any representation or the property. We've done no, before. Thanks for saying one. I should have that gentleman didn't. I mean, it would have been nice to have something in the file saying. Well, I think it's I think it's fine because they they request they've requested it. So yeah, I think if we I think if, if it was if we had issues with it. And we would continue it. I, I will we say that deny. Rhoda told me she was not going to be here. I said, well, then Brian can represent. She, she said it was fine. That was a couple of weeks ago when she submitted the application. And I guess for, for reasons I will not comment on, that's not acceptable anymore. So that's why today I commented out. This could become a trend around the island. Well, well, exactly. not showing up. Well, but they're, they're they probably get Wrote, wrote a success <laughs> rate <laughs> approved. <laughs> well, I think if I think Jim, to your concerns, I think if there, you know, any time that we've had a, um, you know, been in, with an attorney or the homeowner, or whoever that hasn't shown up, and we've had any question about how it was going to go, like we've just continued it. We haven't even opened the discussion. I think this one, all of us having read the packet, there. It, and it's a rescission, it's pretty straightforward. The applicants requesting it or doing what they are asking. Um, it doesn't seem that anyone's opposed to it. I think I think it's okay. But to Jim's point, what would we have done if um, if we opened the hearing and then we didn't agree with it? Just continue it for representation. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with it. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, did someone make a motion? Right, a motion? Okay, so does someone want to second Ed's motion? Lisa seconded. I did. Lisa seconded. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so all those in favor of um, rescinding the, um, the variance relative to uh, Lot 30, 30A, mm -hmm. um, say aye. 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 Are we going to go back to? Uh, Why don't we do the because Michael's leaving, right? No, I've got another uh, hour and five minutes. Oh, I'm yeah. uh, yeah. 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 It was too cold. It was a fire. Should we go back to thirty-one nineteen? Oh, Scott had to come to find He's here. He said he got it. Is so, that, are we good with that? Going back to that one. Then. Yeah. Let's, Okay, this is a uh, reopening of 3119 Trustees of the Union Lodge, free and accepted Masons, 30 Main Street. Thank you, Madam Chair. Scott Anderson, the Polish here, to answer your questions about the scope of work on the foundation that you had. I can show you plans. Great. <laughs> you want to show us the drawings? Yeah, sure. There were no drawings submitted, so we had no idea what was happening. Okay. So originally, before we, we have, we're permitted already for this project, and there was an issue between the original architect and ownership um, about the actual construction, whether we can take that building down or not. And they said that we could. Ownership told me we could, but then when I revisited with Marcus, he said we couldn't do it without a special permit. And I was told there was a special permit, but I guess that it's since it passed and was not able to be used. So that's why I guess we're here today. That's why it was in 2003. That expired. That expired. So how do you have a building permit if Marcus told you you need to come here? Well, because we only applied for foundation only first. And then when we got ready to bring Toscana in to rip the building down, I, I started to question ownership about the actual special permits and stuff like that to make sure they were all good. Because I know if we just took it down without a special permit, we would lose the ground cover. Well, and also, you would have been in violation of your building permit because you only had a permit to do foundation work. Exactly. So your exactly. permit was valid just to put shoring, foundation work. Right. Now you want to take it down and rebuild it. Right. So we, we need to take that down to do that. So we just yes. we got foundation permit. That way, 
we've met with every department head, the DPW, fire department, police department. We had a pre-construction meeting. They all agreed to what we were doing. We have road closing permits, so on and so forth. Um, and obviously, Erica was there to represent the town as well during that whole process. How about any of the abutters? Um, NIR was the only uh, butter, and they, yeah. they know about it, and they have a set of plans, and they know the full scope of work. We did pre-construction surveys of their buildings and our buildings um, and the road and everything else um, through MGA, which is McArnold Gannon Associates, um, out of the Boston area. We have a full report. We have all uh, films, and doc that's everything's documented on all, all the buildings. Is that all part of the building permit application? No, right? It probably should be part of our record. That well, we we can certainly send that to you. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. I mean, we can. We have nothing. That. We have nothing other than a site plan. Okay. Saying you want to do what you want to do. Okay. And, yeah, and the site plan doesn't even show what's taking place. And so. it's tough to. With regard to so, the foundation, is it full basement? So what we're going to try to do is we're, there's a water table issue. So we're we're talking maybe six inches or eight inches. We may go down. We're trying to go down seven foot six, seven foot seven. If we can get eight feet, we'll take it. But all the work. If, if you're looking at the back of the building, the the, um, the street side, Union, Union Street, we're not doing anything close to the sidewalk, and it, actually that work doesn't begin until seven feet inside the building. Yeah, below. It, right. Is there a plan that you can show us? Yes. Okay. Do you want, you want to plan out? Yeah, we're yeah. not just okay. concerned with the street, street side. We're also concerned with the neighbors and other neighborhoods. Well, it's properties. the same thing. The, the only other neighbor is NIR. Right. And we're not doing any work within seven feet, eight feet of their building. Okay, so it okay. doesn't show I'm gonna, that. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. In a second. This makes it look like you're going right up to their building. Right. So we're we're not. We're we're, we're only going to take from here, Lisa, down. Okay. And then again. Okay. Okay. And so we, and we can sh basically show you. Right. I know you weren't in charge of this probably, but it would have been refreshing to have this information as part of this. We wouldn't have had to call you to say, please well, I don't, come. I don't mind coming down for you guys. Well, but calls. then again, it's, it's very awkward to, for one person to look at one set of plans. I mean, we'll have to huddle. On the fly. You know, I have, I have space issues. Show them to Ed. <laughs> Yeah, and all this stuff will have to be put in, it, it, presuming you get approval, all this stuff will have to go into the file. Absolutely. And Scott, you'd be amending the permit you already have to do We're this? We're going to amend the permit we already have, which I'm ready to submit once you guys give us the special permit approval. That's it. And, and it goes through the appeal process and you get signatures. The 21 days, right? Yeah. Exactly. From the, from the time that we signed a decision. Exactly. Well, from the time it's filed with town clerk. Yes. Right. So let's just... Yes. Yeah. So April. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. That's fine, because then the skis will be over. All right, perfect. So, you guys want to come over here? I'm just trying to think. Yes. <laughs> so your foundation is going to be in, set in from the edge of the building on this side, and then you're not taking down this. No. Okay, so they're coming in from this edge. Is that five feet? It, 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 that's five, four, five feet, six inches. So you're doing the entirety of the whole building. Well, except they're not going all under the... <coughs> Right, We're not like going to interrupt any of the, ex the old exterior of the building, except for this wall, which is in jeopardy of collapsing. This is the back of the yeah, building. This, this is the back. back. This is the back. This is this little weird thing off the back right. that oh, they're this not is touching. What, this is the foundation. Right. And you're yeah. just coming in. You're stepping right. in. They're stepping in. Chimney's okay. already foundation. This is the existing right. foundation. It goes on the and outside. And the dark line yeah. is the, okay. what they're doing. Up here. And then you can shoot the camera. So you're pouring a haunch that's going to go... Exactly. Okay. So the interior walls are only like four feet high. Is there a section that should say? There is. Next page. Oh. It's not off. Uh, there you go. Okay. okay. There you go. Here. That's it. Okay. This is the existing foundation wall. They're coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. 
Do you have any pictures of the exterior of the building? Pictures of the exterior of the building? Yeah. Of what, oh. what the reconstruction <laughs> is going to look it's like on the back? It's going to be exactly the same. I have no idea what that looks like. I do have that. Good. And uh, nothing. Well, but they're not affected. Oh, the exterior of the back. Well, they're yeah. going to take that whole back yeah, yeah. down and read the whole well, three quarters of the back down, and we're just going to reconstruct it exactly the same as it is. And I do have pictures of that. That would be great. And that's all been HCC approved. Yes. Yeah. We have the approval. We just put yeah, out the plans. The plans. The plans. Yeah. You want to look at these closer? I get the idea. I mean, by staying in off the edge, we don't get into all our usual concerns. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly. Yeah, made yeah. Other people do from the get go, or no, through conversation, you're doing it from the get go. Right. Of course, it's going to be the last one. It always is. Idea what it's going to look like from the back. I don't know. Good for talking. Your husband approved the window, so it's not visible. Not so visible. this is the part that you're that you're leaving with no foundation under it. Exactly. And then you're coming in and doing this. Just that. And it's going to go back exactly the same way, except the windows. Okay, so it's not getting any taller or anything. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, this is existing. That it's going to stay stay there, and we're just going to add that section. Wait, are those windows staying? Uh, those windows are staying. Yes. Because that would be a shame to have Andersons in the. Right, no I Andersons here. I These are not Andersons. There's no visibility. You can see the back side of that. No, it's <laughs> very visible. I, mean, I don't care. I'm not on the ACC, <laughs> but you can definitely see it. Well, you've seen that. You've seen that angle, though. Yeah, you see it. Dude. Yeah, you see it dude. It's, Isn't it's that a how big you open go through the world seeing things at angles? <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's an, it's a, this place is a big open parking lot. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's a, right, I'm there's, not, I'm there's, not, there's five feet I'm not from our property on the well, from the Masonic Lodge <laughs> property line to a 10 foot right away. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> and we, we we don't know who that who owns that, whether it's a public right away or Verizon owns it. No, it, there's no record of who owns that 10 foot strip, I don't, I believe. No, there's, not the, 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 when we had our first meeting with with the Masonic Lodge, they mentioned that their deed predates the town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the paperwork is not uh, so <laughs> easily <laughs> accessed. <laughs> All right. Well, it's whoever was paying taxes on it, right? Probably nobody. Um, yeah, nobody. And I ran into the same thing on Lily Street, too. There's a, there's a way to go between 11 Lily and 13 Lily that Erica and that we could never find out who owns it. Mm -hmm. um, potential yeah. squatter area. I was going to say, this is an opportunity <laughs> like, to let me open the open for it. Uh, All right, so the idea was we would, those are stamped site copy. Are you leaving us a set of plans? Um, I can leave you a set of plans, I believe. I have an extra copy. This is the one you want to keep with you, though. Yeah, it's site. Like are we satisfied with this amount of information? Um, That's the same thing. Just, okay. And you should. Okay, I, I guess you don't. You don't have it, but it is. It is all in the full town folder. Well, maybe but maybe as part of the approval, we should just get a, a reduction of the HCC Absolutely. approval. Since we have we have the cover sheet, we just want the drawings. Right, it's really the view pack that may think we provide. Well, I'm sure it's been, um, this, it's probably been scanned. The electronic scanned. filing is yeah. something that's it's been there. Provided. It's already been produced. Well, and, and, and the McCarthy, who did you say did the, uh, Wayne McCarthy? McCarthy was part of it. Yeah, if you want to survey and stuff like that, that's fine. Absolutely. Do and I then, keep the full size? No. 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 Okay. Do you? No. So I guess you I could mean, just. He submitted it, so we should keep it. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, you can, you anything, can that. anything that's been submitted for you to see, based upon you're basing your decision on those right. materials, I have to have in file. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't think we can take the full size architectural drawings. No, you can, you can deliver them to me, but just make sure you do it, please. Okay. Everything that you guys looked at needs to be. Oh, and I do have a question on that issue. Um, why aren't, for instance, when you sent me that past uh, decision this, this morning, why aren't why aren't, but for instance, the ACC plans attached to to that decision? Because we don't always make it part of part of the decision. In this specific case, it was. Oh, 
It referenced a. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to look at it. I just wonder. It references C of A? Yeah. It, it, oh, it references it, but not as an exhibit. Yeah, I don't know. No, it was in the conditions as. I don't always attach them as an exhibit because, frankly, they don't render well. Well, but it's hard then when you go back to look at something and it's it's not there. But that's really more for the enforcement as well. So when Marcus or someone goes to sign off, they you know they see that it is in compliance with both the site plan and the review and the COA plan approved plan. And then they they have to pull that do, COA. They yeah. That they have to pull the plan and review it and make sure it's in compliance. That's the purpose of it. I mean, it's all attached. Like I could have looked at it this morning. And said, so, Eleanor, do you want this? <laughs> yes, it was like everything. But it's on Scott. To, yeah. Okay. This one you can take because he had an extra copy, right? Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're good. And, right. and, and prior to doing any of the work, even going down there, I did meet with Andrew and, and Leslie to see if it would be a NCD. They, we all agreed it didn't. We had a big town meeting with everybody. I passed out handouts to everyone with plans, what we were doing, who, who the contractors were, all their phone numbers, uh, all the registration, parking permits. Yeah, and that also it is part of our past protocol anyway. Yeah. And yeah. so you should submit all of that to us. Well, I would have been council had more than happy to, I mean, I, I didn't do it this time, but we we'll definitely do it. Well, this time you'll do it next time. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it should. I think you guys should be at at the town meetings when we're doing projects like that, because that way you're everybody be in to know exactly what's going on. With, with well, then I don't think, town I think we can be there and sort of prejudge things. But okay, you, not you, but the applicants should always give us more information rather than less. Understood. Mm -hmm. Understood. Yeah, because at the time you didn't think that you were going when you did all this. Did you know you needed special permit or? I was, I was, I was told by ownership that, that all the zoning stuff uh, was in place. Yeah. And, and that was my first question, and I even brought it up at our, our meeting with, with the planning board. And he, they said that, that uh, the previous architect had all that in, in order. Mm -hmm. All right, what about hours, days, weeks? You know, we definitely would normally restrict this. How long is it going to take? What's your, see, see. what's your thought process? That's why right. yeah. <coughs> we, we, we gave all that information. We gave a time on hand chart on it too, so we're, we're done on the first. So first of sure. June? Uh, we're going to be done with all the construction before May 1st. Oh. And then get a CO by May 14th or something like that for construction. Literally, January and February is the only time it's going to be a pain in the neck. Toscana will be in there and uh, McGarvey will be in there. And then once they're gone, it's all cleaned up and it's just a little construction site after that. And then are there hours inside. of operation that were listed in there, Ed? Mm. Oh. It, it, it was. It's, we, we, we agreed it would be from uh, 7 to 4. Can you submit this? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, do you have an extra one? Yeah, you can take this one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you can just give it to Eleanor. Okay. Um, so so we normally we have hours. Yeah, 7 to 4, he said. Monday through Friday? Monday through Friday. Okay. The normal dates that... Um, then we, no, Eric has already given us all that stuff too, so that's already been a decision by her. We, no well, stroll, it should be enough. Uh, no Christmas, there was no Thanksgiving, right. and then the We should just put another decision was, uh, though. We just yeah. need it to be the same as whatever she gets. Yeah. Whatever she gets. Okay. Will you check with her? Hopefully she has something written down. Oh, absolutely. She sent it all to the department heads. It's all, it was all emailed to everyone. What exactly? Well, not our department head. Yeah. And, <laughs> so, so we need oh to get gosh. it. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. No, I'm just saying we should we should have it so that we're on the mm. same page. We don't put something in there that's yeah definitely. different than what's been agreed upon. Um, um, I don't know what other restrictions. I mean, it, it looks a lot of the other restrictions had to do with, or conditions had to do with the construction protocol in terms of the foundation. Yeah, right. we yeah. have that. It has to be in substantial compliance with the plans that it's it submitted. submitted. Yep. Um, well. I don't think there's anything else really. You know, I can't think of anything. Everyone, does anything else come to mind on any of these other projects we've got uh, rendered decisions? Well, on? you had concerns about uh, construction crew parking and stuff, but that was in Scotts, if you remember. Oh, the, the store? Yeah. Um, Are we going to, is Union Street closed at all for a certain 
So that's all that uh, that's all explained in what Erica has. So you'll be able to see that. But we have we were supposed to be able to keep it closed that whole time. I told them I would keep it open as as much as we possibly can. Yeah. We really only need it maybe for an hour at a time just to unload the steel and stuff so Tuscana can get it in there. And I worked it out with um, Lieutenant McVicker. When we know that's going to happen, I'm going to call him up and just let him know. But as it stands with Erica, we have a right. We have that street closed legally. Until the street closing permit. And I promised Jessica next door that I would leave it open as much as I possibly could. So the she, entirety of the project, you have the right to close it? I think January, February, yeah. So, but but I, not, I not, never until do May, that. not until May 1st. Yeah. Just for when the. Just for when this guy. And I told him I would never, I'm never, so far we haven't closed it yet. And we've got, we've had, got the chimneys down and all that. Stuff. Just that one area, right? So right. you can offshoot down there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, by the, by the Air Five. Yeah. And again, I would we don't we don't need to close it at all, other than the fact that we need to get some steel off the trucks. And yep. It's an hour or two, and, and uh, McVicker said that he would send someone down to direct traffic as long as I get a twenty-four hour notice. All right. Well, and I'm, well, I don't see anybody in the room, so there's nobody from the public to speak. And NIR was is fully notified, like I said before, and they all have a set of plans reviewed it with their two head guys mm -hmm. um, and walked through both both properties, theirs and ours. I, I'm curious about the water issue. What is, not that it matters to us, but what is your plan? To, to dig until you see it and stop? Or when you say we hope to get to here? We can't. Tell, right now, we it looks like every time we check, we don't see any water there. So we're, we know that we can get down to eight feet the way it looks now, but if we get a big tide or something like that, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I can't tell tidal rushes and surges and stuff like that how that water is going to come up. But since I've been there for the last two months, we check once a week. And the, and the you have a test hall? There's a test hall. Yeah. There's no way to really do borings there, or we would have done borings. Mm -hmm. But you're going to bore into. Yeah, exactly. There's no way to set up a rig, not even a tripod rig, because it's only six feet ceiling down there now. You can set up a pipe, you know. Okay. As long as it's in substantial compliance with the plans and the protocol that is in part of the decision, mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. And, you're, and we don't need anything from NIR? Any Anything just showing that they've gotten the material? Probably not. No. I can, show, I can, I can copy that they email that I noticed, sent them. By the way. Yeah, yeah. Or if you just want to, you know what, Scott, if you have an email that you sent them stuff, just get that to Eleanor so it's in the file. I can do that. Sure. I think that's... Yeah, I sent it to Nathan and he distributed it to uh, his team and, and uh, attorneys. And the reason being, and one of my biggest concerns was that their wall is kind of falling apart a little bit. You don't want to be held responsible. Oh, I don't want to be held responsible, but, but it also leaks into our building. So I, we're trying to figure out who's going to be responsible for fixing that and what it's going to cost. And that, and that. But you are taking, even though you're leaving that, let's say if I'm looking at the back of the building, tight to the NIR property. Right. You're leaving the foundation, but taking the wood off? No, the wood's going to stay there, too. Yeah, the wood's staying there. The wood's too. staying there, too. The issue is that that, that whole thing leaks, right. and we're working with NIR to get that, but they kind of move like a glacier mm -hmm. to get the answers and stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with it. Anybody want to make? Uh, I, I just want to say I'm okay with it if you guys are okay with it, because I don't know what the heck's going on. I mean, <laughs> I don't have anything in front of me. If we, do the, the, if we do these decisions this way, are we going to let everybody come in and just on the fly? So and so said yes, and we got it before so and so. I, okay. No, it's, it's a. But it's a I'll good defer point. to you. No, it's a totally I, legitimate point. Um, we told other applicants to go away. Right, but he also showed up and with the drawings and we looked at it. Right. Permits. It is, it it is. Any information you do need, I can get that to you too. Uh, I, I, mean, I know. I'm not questioning what okay. you're, you know, I'm not, that, that what you're saying is not true. Yeah. I mean, it's just sometimes we like to review this stuff. I, I totally understand. I mean, the whole reason we're here is the ownership was slightly misled by uh, their architecture right. I, beforehand. And so I will say, and maybe. I'm comfortable it's inside the work is being right. done. Right. It's so it would be a different yeah. scenario, I think, if you're trying to go up right up to the property line any place. Uh, they, they would a completely not, different we, scenario. We've never done that downtown. Yeah. Well, I see Jim's point. I mean, on, yeah. on, on much less complicated things, we said you didn't submit the material, 
We'll see you next month. Usually, though, yes, yes. And you you and have said that in the past, yes. Just <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, on, on other uh, applications, though, that are dealing with this, they're usually much closer to the setback. Dealing no, I'm with talking about in general. I mean, even that pool application. We said you don't have the proper information. Come back next week, month. And that wasn't nearly as complicated as this project. Right. I mean, is, that was arguably very straightforward. If, if we I mean, made him come back so that we had a chance to look at it. I mean, it's hard to make an informed decision. Yeah, I mean, I. But I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. I defer to your expertise. I, I, I will say, I think the slight difference, I agree with you, Jim. Yeah. I think the we, slight difference is that Scott clearly, or the applicant, has done the work. It right. just for some bizarre reason. It wasn't in the packet. Uh, it would be different if he were hemming uh, and hawing and saying, right. well, I think I talked to somebody. Yeah. We're going to put a rock under the foundation right. and this, that, and the other thing. I mean, yeah. the material is there. Yeah, just, it just wasn't shared with us ahead of time. Right, right, I agree. We're going to be doing more of this stuff. So if we set up some kind of protocol. I mean, it'd be easy if everybody could just follow that same protocol, which is as is, is hard as you know, filling out billing permits and stuff like that and applications for billing permits. When you're doing commercial work and stuff like that, we need you guys involved, MCDs and stuff like that. There should be a list of stuff that needs to be submitted what? to everybody. No, no, but the attorney, the, I mean, the applicants major, major generally know. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, my apologies. Yeah, I mean, I, Scott, I mean, the bottom line is the more the merrier in terms of the info, because if we don't need it, we won't look at it. But if we don't have it, we can't look at it. I, I so it. Um, That's why I brought everything I had. And I appreciate that. Yeah. But Jim's point is, is a good one. I, mean, we norm, I would say normally, nine out of 10 times, we'd tell you to come back next month. Uh, may I just say one thing? The other similar non-commercial residential applications for you all have had this close proximity foundation work shoring, and there have been a, quite a few in the past couple of years. Yeah. In, I believe, every case there's been one or two or more abutters right. who had some concerns That's who appeared correct. before the board. Right. Um, you know, I, I also will take some ownership. I should have thought to have them submit these things that didn't occur to me. I was consumed with other things, you know. So I might have thought of this and said you should bring those things or going to ask. Mm -hmm. I didn't. So that's on me. Uh, yeah. But I, I did, but I, it, I also knew that Scott had met with, you know, various departments and boards. I knew he'd done his due diligence in terms of these preparations, and I just kind of escaped yeah. my, my attention. And just to pile on, the relief requested is to remove and replace a structure, not the foundation. We're looking for special permit relief. On us, you know, from the zoning perspective, we're not asking you to approve the foundation project. We're asking you to approve removing and replacing part of the structure with an exact replica of that structure. We understand that now, but with the way the application was written, it was unclear whether or not you were. Yeah, we were sure. So we're not asking you to approve the foundational work. Well, I mean, oftentimes the foundation is part of that demo Absolutely. and reconstruction. Absolutely. Now we couldn't possibly tell that it wasn't with the amount of or lack of the amount of information that yeah. submitted to us. And so that's yeah. what we're saying is yeah. just give us the info. And we would have been out of here by now. So does somebody want to make a motion? No. Who wants to vote? Head sugar level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go ahead and make the motion to approve the applications requested with those same rules we put in the past as far as time, um, the hours we mentioned, the dates. And full submittal of the information has been shown to us. Well, it's been submitted now. But and it's going to be submitted. McArdle's uh, report, everything. Yeah. The NAR email. Um, just and I think to make any correspondence with the town. And, and all of us a little more comfortable when you send out the decision, send out that information. Yeah. So that we do have a chance to review it. And if we have a problem with it, then, you know, we won't sign it. That regardless of the board, should I? It's two hours. Yeah, you know. Um, All the more reason to send it. What may what would make it sense on the um, site plan? Maybe. Well, maybe it doesn't matter. 
Never mind. I was going to say to like dot in where the foundation is, just because then it's really clear when you visually look at it. Well, I think that, or, or at least mark what's coming down and being rebuilt. I think it's a good point. If you could put the have uh, whoever this is, Leo oh, Dorian. Leo as a Dorian. Yep. Mark what part of this building is coming down and what part is being rebuilt so that the exhibit that gets filed with the application shows that. Okay. Like little red. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, they can just circle it or whatever. Yeah. Basically, you're looking for a demo plan? Well, no, you can do it on site plan. Well, I mean, a site plan, but you want to know the demo? I want to know on the site plan the extent of what you're rebuilding. Understood. I know it now because you showed us the drawings, yep. but okay. this is going to get filed with a decision and it should be clear on that. Okay, no worries. Okay, anyone but you want to do a second? Can I second it? You can second. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I can see your phone group. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Likewise. Just uh, a side note for coming in today. And tried to run it over. Uh, 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 it is so far from the truth. Um, I, I just I tried to run me over at the stop. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I tried to. I didn't want to. Guy, you tried to run me over. He tried to run me over. Yeah, I'll stop yeah. it. Honk is more my heart stops. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
meeting website? Not you know? really. Not yet. I mean, that I have can a, be, that can come back because I'm trying to get a permit. It was never screen. voted. I don't, it doesn't look like when is it? Isn't, isn't, isn't the freeze? Oh, it starts once it gets published. But that hasn't been done. Even if it was voted on, why couldn't it come back? No, no, no. Okay. Can't push it back for a couple of years. It's know. changing the ground coverage in, to it's way towards the bottom the, to exclude the setbacks. Which means all building permits will have to comply. Until that, as if it were the bylaw. Um, once again, January second through April fourth. Oh, is that when the bylaw is going to be published? Beyond, if it's approved. Yeah. The bylaw is being published the second. The warrant. The warrant. And what is the pool for? Uh, do you, can you summarize it? Do you know? Yeah, I don't have it in front of me, but uh, yeah. it is yeah, that we're going to get the building for on January second. It's rather convoluted. And uh, even if you apply for a building well, permit, it's still. I think it's supposed to be issued. And the problem is, since it's an existing building, so you have to abolish oh, shuttle. It's on my other computer. I'll send it to you, but it has to do with uh, no pools in ROH, obviously, which you can't do, and then any pools, no Just pools in R1. Uh, I have to look at it. It's very, it's an oddly constructed article. Um, and no pools in R1 now? That's what it says? I think it says no pools in R1. I can't find it. I can't find it in here. Hold on. Unless they come with the ZBA. Well, how about all the. I did send you guys a little bit of 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 the little bit of a 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 little bit well, everything's going to be existing non-conforming, the whole island. I know. Yeah. It wasn't what, what the framers, if they wanted it, they, it just it throws the calculations all off. Yeah, you got to increase the ground coverage then. Right. Which negates the, the whole purpose. Well, how about well, 15 people? Signatures yeah. being able to hold up. How many? 15. Oh, that's crazy. Being able to hold up. Okay, if we call okay, it which one, which one is it? Okay, so what is that? I, I actually don't know which number it is because I thought it might be off. Um, but so it's going to amend the definition of swimming pool in that in 139, section 2, and it will add in any residential zone that is contiguous with ROH or SOH district, the zoning board of appeals acting as a special permit granting authority may grant a special permit to allow a residential swimming pool on a lot. Subject to the following criteria being met. The lot must meet or exceed the minimum lot size for the district and must contain at least 20,000 square feet. And two, the minimum setback for the swimming pool is at least 20 feet. Please. So basically, that means that. You could be two zoning districts away. So all R1, SR1, SR10, SR20, VN, and all under five lots in R40 are. Uh, no good. And how do you know it's being published on the second? I just do. Because <laughs> I would I didn't really ask this question people were forced starting to panic. Yeah, I mean there's no way that I mean getting a building permit by January second yeah, on if you submit it today. It's you, not about the application, you have to have the application. I know. I'm gonna put in a bylaw next year that, you know. I don't know, something stupid like you have to wear purple on Wednesdays. Well, there, there was a town idiot on one of the <laughs> town warrants. Do you remember that one? To <laughs> <laughs> vote in a town idiot. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? I kind of do it was that. For 15 years. I think I kind of remember. Does it take a uh, special agenda item to talk about this the pool piece? Because I think we all agree that the special permit granting authority, you know, approves all these polls, we've, we've realized that our hands are tied. And yeah. There's it, specific criteria, which is fine, but why are we? I mean, because it says like the. Yeah, right. How, how, what, the size of the island that is affected by it yeah. is going to grow. Substantial. Substantial. Is that something we The board can absolutely contribute an opinion to the planning board when they go to comment on the article. 
I would imagine, or you can appear at the planning board meeting where these will be discussed and, and represent and state as much. I'm, you know, I'm wearing my ZBA hat, or since you are the special permit granting authority, I think your opinion is valid. Would you mind email it? I have a question on that. If, if you're at town meeting and you stand up as a ZBA member and say, this, you have you know, to be sober at <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, if you stand up and say this is a crazy idea, as a ZBA, we don't want to take these applications. It's going to be modified on the floor to eliminate that portion of it. You, can, you may not yeah, modify You can modify all the time. Any voter so, private I would say I could, you could kill it. No. You can. You can. Could you email me that again, please? Yeah. So pool one? Yeah. Me too. So that's everything in R1, yeah. basically. Yeah, my email is all. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's all sorts of districts that are uh, making friendly hours. I emailed you. Yes. Or you can make a request for ROH, but you, right now you can do it with an undersized lot, even if you're in. Anyway, now you need 20,000 square feet. In R1, so, that is, so, <laughs> now you need four lots yeah. in R1 to put a pool on. Anything contiguous to Or two R1 lots. Or so it's, it's 10,000 square feet. What do you mean? If you do a perimeter plan, you can do it on your property. Prior to it going, being publicized, you're exempt. From any zoning change? Yeah. What, did, what mm -hmm. do you mean a perimeter plan? Just have a perimeter plan done it's by a license What is it? It's, you have to act though. It, it's, then. A, it's a zoning freeze, yeah. isn't it? So if what you... Is a perimeter plan, how is it different than uh, a, a... It's, it's, it's uh, even if you're land court, which you know, is the best plan you can get, uh, unless it's changed on the, on the Commonwealth's zoning bylaw, you do a perimeter plan and you're freezing the zoning for I think it's two years. So does that have to go to the planning board? Yes, you just yes. present it. It doesn't have to be approved. What, what about if you took a lot that was larger and subdivided into two 10,000 square foot lots? Are you then in a freeze? You took a 20,000 square foot lot. Are. It's the same idea. Or if you uh, created a, a lot very small, 50 feet, 50 foot lot, and, and sold it or gave it to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. You mean a 50 square foot lot? Yeah. I think there's it's one a behind it's the, uh, the Mason's lot mm -hmm. now. But, you know, How much uh, now? The 10 foot right away? <laughs> you could have put a pool in there. Why not? It look great. It's in the ROH. <laughs> oh, cool's a lot. Wow. I didn't. I didn't notice that first one. It kind of surprised me that there wasn't any pool things, but apparently I missed it. See, if, if it had been voted on at last year's town meeting, it couldn't have come back on the warrant this year. Right. But it wasn't. Can I go on a second? Second. All those in favor of returning? Aye. Aye. Aye.